What is going on, guys? It is Adam A.K. Marf, and tonight's show is going to be packed. We're going to talk about everything that is breaking now. In fact, Dex is actually loading up stuff that is going on this minute, uh, plus everything that has transpired in the last 24 hours. Uh, they are saying 48 hours, there is going to be a further invasion. We'll talk about that and what we think. And then, of course, what we are actually hearing uh, from Fugle family members in both countries. So stick around. We'll be right back right after this. Nothing in the show should be considered legal, medical, or financial advice. The views of the callers can differ considerably and do not necessarily reflect my opinion, Dex's opinion, or anyone else who works with the show. You should always do your own research and consult with professionals. The internet is full of fake news, so please take everything with a grain of salt. If you have not already, it helps us out if you end up going through any of our affiliates, and it helps you out if you end up protecting yourself against cybercrime. NordVPN is one of the best and one of the easiest to use. If you do not have a virtual private network, it protects your IP address, which is your online identity, which actually connects to your real address and everything else. It also connects to you. If you know anything about how they are data logging and basically getting your profiles down, you can prevent that by having a VPN. Nord is, again, one of the easiest. Download it. It's like an on switch and off switch. All you have to do. Go to marfuglenews.com slash VPN. Not only will you get a giant discount on this, but you will also be helping us. I appreciate your support, and I appreciate everyone that goes through any of our affiliates. Uh, can't say thank you enough. What is going on, guys? It is Adam A.K. Marf, and this is Marfugal News. We have a ton to go over. So if you are new here and somebody shared my show with you, remember you can actually follow along over on MarfugalNews.com. You can grab some popcorn because the world is falling apart uh, faster than uh, you can watch a movie on Netflix. Uh, and also follow along on a second device. Uh, all of our, our articles, our tweets, our videos, anything that we post here, we make sure to have a bibliography of all of our sources. That way, you know exactly where we are getting our information from. That way, you have access to go back retrospectively and check my work. Again, uh, we have a ton over there. Now, when you go over to the website, you'll see it's very easy to navigate. It is all done by thumbnails. 48 hours, uh, thermal barracks on the move. Uh, when you click on that, you will see it will go right over and it will show you all of the links, articles, tweets, videos, uh, archive documents, whatever we post there, it will be there. Again, you'll be able to see the matching thumb. And then uh, down, once you get to the yellow bar, that is web-only content. That is the stuff that is too hot for TV or the stuff that is too sensitive that people are uh, getting knocked off for, too far to one direction for us to cover without being as neutral as possible. And then, of course, on the right side, if you would like to support us, again, this is a voluntary thing, uh, go over and check out our affiliates. It's stuff that if you are already planning on doing prep, uh, if you are already planning on getting some sort of EMP protection or uh, protection for your computer or even supplies, make sure to go over there. If you go through us, then that way you will be supporting your favorite channel and getting a discount at the same time. Uh, it uh, It is a two-way street there. So thank you, everybody that supports us. And again, uh, yeah, again, just uh, we really appreciate it. Now, uh, let's bring in my co-host slash internet brother, Dex James. What is going on today and how are you doing? Well, hello, Adam, and hello, Fugle fam. I am doing just fine. So uh, we'll get right into it. There is a lot today, and then Dex is now, uh, you are on the side. We, there were, was some breaking stories as we were going live, uh, literally about uh, two minutes before we were live. So we're going to be adding that in. By the end of the show, that will be on our website and archived and documented uh, with this show. So, And then uh, we have started... Uh, we are now part of another EMP Shield giveaway, so make sure to tune in at the end. Uh, Dex will be giving you all the details on that, uh, so remember to uh, to get in on that as well. Deadly bird flu found in Delaware Ducks Goose, Hawktown Square, Delaware. We have covered from the first case to then how it is spread. Uh, we told you that, you know, obviously this isn't something that everybody is worried about uh, so much going to humans or anything. It's more so how it is going to affect our supply chain and our uh, poultry and everything else. Chicken, birds, turkey, 
uh, you know, the, the whole nine yards as far as uh, any edible birds that you are going to be getting uh, are going to be harder to find because now a lot of these main areas that actually produce uh, these animals are now being either cold or being pulled apart uh, to pull the side and I should say and uh, they are being tested and now this this uh, I guess this bird cold is going around it says a highly infectious bird hmm, that can rapidly kill this domestic poultry including chicken turkeys and ducks has been found in eight wild ducks a Canada good and a hawk it says the discovery has triggered a warning to hunters, poultry owners, and poultry producers to take precautions in handling the birds. The Eurasian uh, H5 highly pathogenic uh, avian in Mza can be transmitted to humans, but no human infections have been found in the United States. The U.S. <laughs> for Prevention considers the risk to the general public from HPAI H5 infections to be low. So again, this is not so much a worry for us. Uh, they always have these kind of things, but as far as how it is going to hit us on top of the supply chain woes we already have, it's pretty bad. Uh, J-Rock Thibodeau, thank you so much. Says, Thanks, Adam and Dex, for doing an amazing job keeping us from form. Stay prepped and stay prayed up. Hey, thank you, J-Rock. And then Diane Moses, thank you for supporting early on in the show. Uh, Don Bali, before the show even started, says, Hi, Marv. Thank you again for bringing the real news. Looking forward to the show as always. Thank you, Dex, and all the mods. Also, thank you, family. Hey, thank you, Don Bali, and thank you, JM and Bible Talk for Common People for being the last ones out on the last show. Thank you. And then uh, Dex, we have China says Taiwan is not Ukraine as island raises alert level. So obviously, uh, again, it says Taiwan is not Ukraine and has always been an inalienable part of China. China's foreign ministry said on Wednesday as Taiwan President Tsai Ing-wen called for the island to beef up vigilance on military activities in response to the crisis. The comments come after uh, British Prime Minister uh, Boris Johnson fl the risk for Taiwan in a warning last week about the damaging worldwide consequences if Western nations failed to uh, fulfill their promises to support Ukraine's independence. <coughs> so Boris Johnson actually said this, uh, and then now people are now finally, and I said, don't fully focus on uh, Russia taking Ukraine. If this is all, you know, high five and behind closed doors and they all have this planned out, it seems like uh, the U.S. in this case uh, wanted to be able to say that they got everything right and everything was done as pr promised. And what I thought was weird is that the U.S. keeps coming out and the U.K. and these countries together that keep kind of working very close as far as how they have dropped several things at the same time, uh, how they have had these things going on in their parliaments and in their courts at the same time and in their Congress and in Parliament. Everything is is kind of, they're working very closely together uh, as, as they, you know, should because they're allies, but at the same time for any of the possible nasty stuff going on behind closed doors, uh, it seems like they knew exactly what was happening or at least they wanted to, right? They said, oh, this is going to happen any day now. Uh, Jake Sullivan said, I want to be crystal clear. This is going to start before the Olympics end, all of this weird stuff. And they were trying to say that they absolutely knew what was happening. They said that they laid out the playbook. John Kirby, uh, Pentagon spokesperson, said that, you know, oh, well, I think we did a good job. We laid out their entire playbook, which they are now following. So technically, they, they did lay out this thing where they would possibly take Danonks and Luhonks and then they would go from there, make military bases and move in. That has actually happened. All of these different comments from all around the place uh, were actually put in there. But now, what is next? Well, if they do continue, it look, if they are right, just hypothetically, if they are right, and maybe they're calling them behind the scenes, like, okay, you're, you're good to go. Whatever it is, it seems like they wanted to, to be able to say that they were right on this one. Maybe that, that's why I, I'm suspicious of it. If they do take further parts of, of Ukraine, then they up the antes of the sanctions. The current sanctions, a lot of people in the comments say, you know, are not enough. It's weak, right? But if they do further sanctions, they also laid out in that same playbook and they said it like it was fact. Like, oh, well, we're going to do sanctions. And they don't say they may. They say they're going to respond with a massive cyber event. And they say it like it's fact. Like, you know, we know we're going to do this. They're going to do that. 
Uh, look at every public statement by every, uh, you know, national security advisor, Jake Sullivan, John Kirby, uh, Pentagon spokesperson, uh, Jen Psaki, everything else. Uh, and then, of course, President B, every all of the statements are aligned. And then, of course, you have all of the experts, all the generals, all the people speaking from other agencies are all saying the same thing. They're going to hit us with cyber events and they've put it all over mainstream. So it's in the back of our head that that this is all going to come and it's going to come because of somebody else, because of something that is going on over there. And they specifically mentioned banking institutions. Pretty uh, odd timing, don't you think? So um, Dex, as far as Taiwan, I have, I've always had the theory that if Russia fully does this and just takes all of Ukraine, that he, they would do that at the same time as China and China taking Taiwan. Well, yeah. I mean, the stage is set. It's, you know, our administration and the world doesn't seem to be, you know, actually taking uh, these types of, uh, of, of, of aggressive moves um, very seriously. And at least in the sense that they're doing anything to prevent them, they're only going to react after the fact. So um, that's a, a sure signal to, you know, any one of these uh, leaders that says, hey, you can go do what you want to do and get away with it, right? And we're watching it unfold right now in the Ukraine, and we'll see it more than likely see it in Taiwan. And as much as they say they're not, um, all of their actions leading up to this, with the exception of the pause during the Chinese New Year and the Olympics, which they were trying to put on their best face for the world, um, except for that that lull there, all of the actions before that time period and now are starting right back up You know, today or in the, la in the last few days, we'll, we'll, I expect to see it. That's my opinion, but I, I expect to see them continue to do that. Well, and before when they said any day now and it didn't happen and everybody was like, well, you said it was going to happen any day and this week and this, that, uh, that was before they actually took parts of, you know, Eastern Ukraine. Uh, now there is plenty of proof that at least that much is true. You know, we nobody trusts any kind of mainstream. Nobody trusts uh, any of the official statements coming out now. Uh, but what we do know is there's thousands of videos of Russia now in uh, Ukraine. You could say that they're all uh, wag the dog videos, but I mean, it's it's uh, normal people in Ukraine, uh, just thousands of videos of what is going on and what's happening. Uh, also, we do know uh, from from several people in the Fugel family, people have said uh, that the, the text part of, of a upcoming article that we're about to show you, uh, there was hacks going on. And there was hacks that uh, apparently texted soldiers and said, you know, you better put down your arms or we're going to we're going to take you out. And it was supposed to uh, supposedly uh, affect their morale. Uh, but that that has been at least confirmed for me because many people we've talked to said that that is really happening. Uh, so, you know, what side is it coming from, though? Is it coming from a three letter agency? We don't know. So uh, very uh, I would say keep your eyes very open and watch uh, Taiwan. And that's when this, and by the way, m most countries outside of NATO and outside the sphere of all this uh, ganda, right, are all preparing for a much more massive conflict. Uh, they are all preparing for WW3. They are preparing for them to keep going after Ukraine. Uh, there is a lot to gain for Russia to do this. Even if we sanction them a trillion dollars, you know, most of their GDP, they could gain that back in other ways if they truly do dominate or if they team up and all of a sudden China's involved and they team up and they, they split the world. I mean, that, that would be something that could be insane. What if, what if India, China, and uh, Russia all end up teaming up? Somebody said, well, oh, China and India are mortal enemies doesn't seem like it. Uh, they're drilling together. Uh, they have done naval drills together. Uh, India is part of the, the SCO, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. So they're financially tied. Uh, that's been since 2017. And now they've pulled back all the troops from the Himalayan borders. So they're, they're making a lot of moves together. And then, of course, India closely tying up with uh, Russia. That makes them kind of friend me of, of friends, right? So I, I don't know if we had the two largest countries. And, and by the way, we've given a lot of our tech to India. So if they were traitors on us or if they turn last minute, because remember, uh, during these world conflicts and the backdoor politics that's happening, uh, there could be uh, people that switch. Uh, people thought France might switch last minute. 
Uh, of course, they have tech of ours. They have all, you know, there's through certain parties, it would be really bad if they switched and turned on us. What do you think, though? I would love to hear your opinion on it. Uh, Maurice Clements, thank you for your support. And then Greg Davis, explosions happening now in Ukraine live on CBS. So, Dex, I believe that's what we were looking at, right? And then... Yeah, I've got the information in uh, in Up Next, or in Screener, sorry. Uh, and they are, they are in an emergency meeting at the United Nations Security Council is holding an emergency meeting amid the threat of further Russian aggression in Ukraine. Uh, we have Putin announced a special military operation in Ukraine. Uh, so we'll go back to this because that's the that was the guess, and now uh, we may we may be there. So hold on. And while you're pulling that up, Adam, the explosions that are being announced, at least on CNN, are in Kar Kharkiv, uh, K H A R K I V, Kharkiv. It's the other large city in Ukraine, uh, but it's not Kiev, um, but not yet. So, well, he actually said, uh, they said on CBS, not CNN. So maybe. Yeah, I'm got just saying exclusive. what CNN is reporting. I didn't go to CBS. I'm reading. Okay. Just make sure because, you know, they might have an exclusive or, you know, they might be 10 minutes ahead. Um, thank you, Zippy Moons. It's post time. Pucker Factor 100. If you ain't right with the big man, your time is short. Get right now. Zippy Moons, thanks for being here almost every show. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for the support. Delaware Sasquatch watching live cams. Uh, numerous flashes seen. Oh, man. Uh, CNN Kev's cams. Uh, Kiev's cams had explosions. Um, yeah, I'm watching the Ukraine or the Kiev cam right now. I've been watching it for the last five minutes. I haven't seen I haven't seen anything yet, but it doesn't mean it didn't happen. Yeah, so and you have the link if you want to show it, but uh, I'm going to continue to monitor it and I'll try and capture anything we see. Okay, all right, thank you, uh, thank you, Dex. Uh, and then we do hold on, we'll we'll we will uh, try to try to get uh, we'll we'll and we'll we'll link all these resources again too. Uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced a special military operation in Ukraine aimed at demilitarizing the country, uh, but not to occupy it. Okay. Uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced the special operation is undertaking a special military operation in Ukraine, saying his goal is to demilitarize and denazify the country, but not occupy it. Uh, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky delivered an address earlier Wednesday, spoken mostly in Russian, in which he warned that the Kremlin had nearly 200,000 soldiers and thousands of armored vehicles on the border ready to attack his country after Putin had already recognized two occupied regions, the Luhansk and Donetsk People's Republic, as independent and tasked troops to go into those areas as so-called peacekeepers. Pentagon spokesperson uh, John Kirby uh, told reporters Wednesday that Russia is, quote, ready to go and that its forces could attack at any time. So everybody is tired of hearing that. But at the same time, now we're we're, uh, we're officially getting everything in. As far as the Fam military members, everybody that's deployed that's watching, uh, they are all saying the same thing. The word that is coming down to them is that uh, they are on they're on ready notice. And a lot of them are over in Europe. And there is a lot more heading out. So the, the sheer numbers of of deployments, again, say that they are possibly expecting something bigger than just Ukraine. <clears throat> now, you, most people, most normies just say, well, they'll take a uh, president B at his face value and say, well, he said we'll never send in troops. Uh, I, I, I think I can remember a few presidents saying that we would never have boots on the ground and then having boots on the ground. Uh, remember, there the boots on the ground thing. You just look on boots on the ground uh, controversy. You'll find probably seven decades of of that happening, where they said, "Well, oh, we, we won't have boots on the ground. Uh, we're going to send some boots." It's a boot factory. Uh, odd chipmunk. Ten days of darkness is almost here. This has been planned for years. This was meant to be HRC conflict with Russia, but Team An election stalled uh, the plans. Pushing the narrative MSM Democrats. Dan Tran, thank you so much for uh, subscribing. Welcome. And then I'll, we'll show you the, uh, the the resource here. Let's see. Bam. And I will make sure to... Uh, 
And again, this is uh, one of the, it's nighttime in Kiev. Yeah, that's a panoramic uh, webcam uh, of the city of Kiev. Yeah, so I'm, somebody said that there was already prior. Just trying to see if I uh, see anything on scr on uh, scrubbing through. So if you have screenshots, uh, send them to me on Twitter. Uh, and uh, imagine if it just goes dark. I mean, that's that's the kind of thing people are expecting right now. And then uh, Russia to launch Ukraine invasion in 48 hours with strikes and troops. Russia is preparing to launch a devastating, devastating full-scale invasion of Ukraine within the next 48 hours, according to the United States. U.S. President J.B. issued the chilling warning to his Ukrainian counterpart, Vladimir uh, Zelensky, and claimed Russian warplanes were already carrying short reconnaissance missions over his country's airspace. That's really creepy, thinking about uh, they're already flying over you. Uh, Machina Opus, Satan laughing spreads his wings. Yeah, it's very scary stuff here. And then Vladimir has already sent tanks and 10,000 troops into two breakaway pro-Russian provinces of Ukraine. And it says on Wednesday, President JB's administration informed Ukrainian President Vladimir uh, that uh, Russia is preparing a full-scale invasion of his country within 48 hours. The President of Ukraine has been warned uh, that Russia will highly likely begin an invasion within 48 hours. So that, mo most people would go, okay, whatever. But now, uh, now from Putin officially, they're saying they're going to do a special operation, which sounds like something air-related. Uh, where they want to demilitarize, so they'll hit all of their, uh, you know, some of their bases, and uh, they'll try to, you know, precision target certain areas. This sounds like a shock and awe thing. Remember, we did the video called Shock and Awe. Uh, I, I, I predict if this does happen, it's going to look a lot like uh, Baghdad when we did the Shock and Awe campaign, where we're going to see this camera. And it's going to be boom, 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 boom everywhere. And it's going to be the, uh, of course, the Air Force. OMG, it's real. So somebody just type that in. I'm getting videos for you now. Give me a minute. Yeah, this is not good, folks. Yeah, it popped off. People are... Uh... Yeah, it, it does not... It, things do not look good uh, for the, the innocent people in Ukraine. That's for sure. Yeah. So, you know, most people are torn on what what is really happening. I would say this is why we've... We've always had our, our minds open for this, and you know you know our opinions. I don't get why people are so mad at other people's opinions that they can't listen to it and then share theirs. I don't get it. But I have believed whether this is manufactured or not, that it was it was being built up for years, and we knew this. We, we showed you the signs going up. To, this takes years in the planning. That's why people are like, why hasn't it happened yet then? Nothing has happened. Um, I, I know that a lot of you probably wrote, oh, it's a big nothing burger. There is definitely something. And every nothing burger you think is a nothing burger, there's usually something going on in the background. Even if it was so-called a nothing burger, that just means we are not physically affected by it, uh, that something else may have gone down. Something is going down. And Adam, I've got uh, two videos so far that are, there's a link in the screener where you got the other information right at the top. Okay, I've got it. And these are coming from Twitter, so I'll post the tweets on our website if people want to go see them themselves. We told people it was going to happen. All right, so... Yep. Wow. So, uh,
There it is. Let's see here. So here we are. See it up, up it right in the middle. That is why people are in the chat typing, oh my God, it's real. So what comes next, right? <clears throat> More sanctions. Elizabeth uh, uh, Piver uh, Piverness, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you I, um, for your support. Odd Havring, I don't know if I said that right. Thank you from Norway. Uh, really appreciate your support. We have uh, tons of family in Norway. Uh, at some point, I hope to visit. Beautiful place. Uh, Nika Talaka, thank you so much for your support as well. So here's another one. Turn down that sound real quick. That's a yeah. And uh, the the sound, I I'm not gonna go too far with this because it is most likely. Uh, looks like defensive measures most likely or surface to air so uh, what does this mean for all of us I would say nothing yet uh, but here's the thing they are now supposed to and the entire world is looking at them to then return with sanctions and these are supposed to be just absolute insane sanctions uh, that are supposed to cut them off from the world the rest of the world, like like they were in NK. Uh, they're supposed to cut off. Nobody would be buying. By the way, this hurts us uh, extremely bad in the pocket because when they cut off the oil from Russia. Uh, Dex, did you know how much oil we actually imported from Russia uh, just this last year? It was millions and millions of barrels. It was like in the hundreds of millions of barrels. So gas is... This is going to make gas even worse uh, if if what is going to happen. Yes, uh, Dex. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, they 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 are a major contributor of oil. So if they were to be shut down completely, uh, it would actually disrupt the entire uh, oil economy. So it's not you know it's it's a you got to be delicate with what they're doing here. You can't just completely. Uh, cut them off because it'll have a major effect on everyone in the in the world including ourselves um and there's a third video in there i marked it with the word new on the front of it if you want to see that i think that one's definitively from uh the the city of uh Kar kharkiv i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right okay so and i believe maybe because it has um it has uh, landmarks in it. No, that's just what the post said. The person who posted it claimed that's where it was from. The others just said Ukraine. Wow. So I'm not going to... This has a Russian watermark on here, but um, I'll, I'll scroll through here. Let me... Uh... There we go. Let's see. Yeah, the in, in fact the entire video is basically a, a still with uh, the smoke moving a little bit but uh this is supposedly Kharkiv it says in the description of it Kharkiv uh Ukraine. So <laughs> and all three of these are on our website now. Yeah. Uh Christy Magdalay says we all wanted it to be a nothing burger. We prayed for a nothing burger. It is not a nothing burger after all. Unladylike expletives. <laughs> well, we still, you know, it's whether it affects, well, it's going to affect us at home in the pocket, 
most of us are, I mean, really when it gets down to it, it's most of us are worried if our grid is going to go down or if, uh, or if we actually get invaded ourselves. What's really sad is there's people in Ukraine that are innocent people that are going to be in the middle of this mess. Uh, there are innocent children and, uh, and, oh, well, by the way, so did you, you, most of you knew, uh, they actually evacuated a lot of the women and children, but did you know that if you were a man, uh, what was the age? Was it over, over 16? You couldn't leave. Wasn't that what it was? Yeah, I believe it was over 16. No males were le allowed to leave. Oh, now I have a fourth one in there if you want to. Essentially, it was a draft, but not. It's like you're not leaving. You're staying and fighting for your homeland. Uh, they evacuated a lot of the women and children, but still. So there's 18-year-old guys over there that are basically forced to uh, fight this. So if you do think it is just all like you know made up, then really feel bad for those, those guys because they're going to be... Uh, they, people assume that these uh, characters care about people and if they lose thousands of lives, they don't. It's not their life. Uh, but it will be their money once they accomplish whatever the hell they're doing. Uh, let's see here. So we have a fourth video. Let's refresh this. And I believe this is it. Okay, I'm going to turn down the mute sound here for a second. Okay, so you, as you can see, uh, a missile is flying over. And then... Whoop, Looks like maybe that's uh, possibly defensive systems. Yeah, that's a scary sound. Go ahead. And there's that one. There's number five on it. Man. Imagine being in this. <clears throat> Imagine if you were there. This is, you know, the the terrifying part that all of us think about is if this was, if this was here or where you are at. If you're in Europe, uh, imagine, you know, what they went through with World War II. I mean, you're in a, a apartment buildings essentially were just blown to bits. The walls gone, uh, tanks rolling through the streets. And this is what the U.S. government has actually been preparing for. They've been nonstop on the coast, uh, riding through the urban streets. They've been drilling, paying for gear for urban streets. They've been paying for night vision goggles to, to fight people in urban environments. And then they just ordered a bunch of silencers because when you're fighting in urban concrete uh, environments, you can go deaf very quickly from firing. So, yeah, th there's... Yeah, this is not good. So, we have attached all five of these videos on our website. Uh, these are it, from from my uh, third screen here. It looks like this is coming uh, all over Twitter. There are more and more videos by the minute. <laughs> Make sure to follow me over on Twitter uh, tonight. I'm going to be retweeting the ones that we know about uh, at Marfugel. Make sure to go over. I, I've not been on Twitter except for the notifications because I did not have it on my phone. Uh, but we, uh, I'll be getting back on uh, Twitter this is this is huge. We are we are here, Dex. I mean, this is it. Yeah, this is this is this is it for the people in in Ukraine. This is a, a huge deal. Um, 
I, I'm sure the rest of uh, Eastern Europe is a little shook up right now because uh, when any type of movement like this happens, it makes them wonder, will it, is it going to stop there or is it going to keep coming, right? Um, so yeah, this, this is a big deal. Uh, you know, obviously they're going to go after strategic uh, locations. Like they don't, it's not in their best interest if they want to, you know, sort of have control and authority over Ukraine to have it just can be completely wiped out. So, and it's also not in their best interest to create a whole lot of enemies in the country um, more than they already have. So hopefully they're, they're being very strategic in what they're hitting. Um, and there's very little collateral damage. Let's pray. Yeah. Um, I just asked that everybody prays for the people of Ukraine uh, because, you know, a lot of these people did not ask for this. A lot of the business owners, the people that are barely getting by, did not ask for this. Somebody, uh, the baby says, don't be fooled. Russia is not the bad guy here. Remember 10% for the big guy. Uh, I, We know if you claim to be kind of awake on all of this stuff and think that the U.S. is innocent, uh, then you obviously, I mean, I don't know what you, why you would even be watching me. Uh, because since 2001, we know a lot of things have gone down. Uh, that were just not okay. So uh, I don't claim that anyone is the bad guy. I think that all of the top and unfortunately are bad guys because they think that they're making decisions for the world that are better for the world. Uh, and we are, Dex, what do you call it? Um, when you lose civilian casualties, like uh, what do they call that in conflict? Um, Collateral damage. Collateral damage. We're collateral damage. Uh, I'm kind of speechless. You know, I, I <laughs> everybody hopes that this is just not going to go any further, but they've wrote out the playbook. They've told you the playbook. And then they are now going to announce further sanctions. And then this is a scary moment. Here's the thing that could happen even if they don't hit us. I have a feeling that a lot of people are going to go to their banking institutions and basically do a, a run on their bank uh, here in the United States, Europe, wherever else it may be, because they have told every person in every country right now that uh, they their first target is the banking institutions. So even if they don't cyber attack, uh, the effects might still be there because everybody is overrunning and grabbing their stuff out that that's a possibility i don't think that i ho i hope that doesn't happen but that's why that's why you know that's why preppers right now you know everybody said we've we're seeing this coming and yeah we know stuff is uh there's there's stuff in the background going on but they're still going to put on the big show for us and uh People will still be affected by it. <clears throat> um, I'm going. Adam, I've got one one more uh, that is from that camera you showed earlier. That's the. It's actually in Kiev. Um, is it at the top of the uh, screener? Or is it at the bottom? It's in that. It's it's in the video list. It's number six. It says N number six and beginning of the file name. Okay. Let me see. It's the Dropbox, right? Correct. Okay. So we, uh, some of the less important uh, pieces, if we don't get to the all of the articles tonight, most people will understand why it will. They will be available on the website uh, because this just changed things a whole lot. All right, so. This is that same this is that same webcam. There it is. From the one that uh everybody was watching. That is most likely uh what one of I forgot which who commented that. <clears throat> but as you can see, uh we'll see. There. Look at that.
And that Dex, that is Kiev, isn't it? That is Kiev. Uh, that that is correct. That's the um uh what's called the um wide angle or uh panoramic camera from the city there of Kiev. And that's on our website now too. That is the capital of Ukraine. So that is Okay, so this changes a whole lot. Uh, yeah, this doesn't... Well, um, okay. All right, so Putin says missiles are ready and, <clears throat> and stockpiles blood fueling war fears. Uh, before I get into that, I do want to remind you, everybody, highly recommend going over and getting protection against DMP. I shouldn't... I don't. I don't think I really have to tell you why. So if everybody, if you don't know about this, make sure to go check this out. Also, there is a giveaway going on. We will let you know about that at the end of the show. Uh, but if you do want to just purchase it and not wait for anything and not chance on a, uh, on winning, I'd highly recommend going and checking these out. The DHS, DOD, and uh, agencies like the Demso team uh, have used uh, EMP Shield. Uh, again, this is the same kind of protection uh, that official agencies are looking towards, uh, we should be too. So EMP Shield is, again, a device that can protect you against all three phases of an EMP, E1, E2, and E3, and it can protect you against the natural kind, the, the solar flares, uh, Carrington-level event, the, the things you've heard about as far as from the sun. Uh, this can protect different things. You can get a device for your car, you, uh, which is the most most purchased that they, they have said. And then, of course, there's ones for your house, your boats, your RVs, your solar systems, your solar generators, your regular generators. Uh, of course, even your ham radio, you can get a protector for. So make sure to go over and check it out, marfuglenews.com slash EMP. That's again, marfuglenews.com slash EMP. Um, and then that also helps us out. Again, you don't have to, this show is completely free. But if you would like to support it, and if you are already doing things as far as prep goes, this is a way that you can help us as well. Someone made a comment that said, um, do you remember when Marf used to never ask for anything? Uh, he said he would never ask for money. And uh, he said something and he goes, but now that's part of every show. So I, I responded and I said, yeah, that's when I was by myself and nobody else was dependent on me. Now that multiple families are dependent on us, uh, it is a whole different story. And by the way, I will never ask you straight up. I'll never say, hey, can you guys donate? I ask if you are going to these products, go through us. And that helps us out a whole lot. Uh, because again, a normal channel would be getting uh, huge ad dollars for, for the views that we get. Uh, but we don't because we're controversial. And of course, they change things because they knew that there was going to be uh, situations like this where even if a channel a small channel that's not even monetized they could place ads on that too they change the whole thing up so in that in that sense even if something is not suitable it will still have ads so I appreciate everybody that that uh that still supports us because we have I mean this is we now have archived uh, everything everything is archived we have a free service for you we have handpicked and collected uh, news from all over the world, and it is now databased and cross-referenceable over on our website. Back then, we didn't have that. In fact, back then, when I didn't ask for anything, I was one by myself, and I never did until I had people working for me. Uh, back then, we it, I, I did not give you anything uh, more than what you could get with a conversation from your friend. Now we do provide a service and we provide a place for like-minded individuals to get together. Not to mention, you know, and it's full-time work, right? It back then it wasn't, it was, it was in between what el everything else you were doing at the same time. Yeah. I was so, wor yeah, working two is, jobs. Yeah. This is full time and doing videos on my break. Well, you know, in the room, same room as uh, chicken platters, <laughs> So it's a whole different story now. We literally put out whether I'm sick, whether I'm dying, whether Dex is dying, whether we always, we, we, we don't have backups. We don't have uh, studies. We don't have interns. We don't have any of that. We also don't have a multi-billion dollar company behind us. 
So if you want to support and protect yourself, I don't really need to tell people why they need to start protecting themselves, why they need to start going and getting supplies. We told you about con uh, we to told you about the last two years. Uh, we warned you four months, five months in advance before the big demic came. We just, we warned you about this. We said this was coming, and they have put their playbook out on public uh, display. All right, and then. <clears throat> Uh, Russia just warned all aircraft to avoid huge swath of airspace over eastern Ukraine. I mean, we didn't even get to t talk about this before this happened. Dex, this was literally the article that we would have said, okay, that sounds like what they were going to do. I was going to say, this is what they do right before they hit something. Correct. And now they are doing it. Uh, it says Ukraine has an en enacted a, in a, a state of emergency as signs that Russia is about to launch a broader invasion grow. Now we're here. U.S. military says that 80% of the forces that Russia has arrayed along its borders with Ukraine, as well as its neighbor neighboring Belarus, which includes 150,000 and 200,000 personnel, are ready to go should the Kremlin give the order. Some of the, these elements are in the positions only five kilometers are just over three miles from the Ukrainian border. This comes as signs of a broader invasion of Ukraine is imminent and only com continuing to grow. So that is that is currently what we're looking at. And then, of course, uh, Putin has warned unparalleled hypersonic missiles are ready for action and has been stockpiling blood uh, fueling war fears. Tanks and trucks have always also been on the move amid concern Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkiv, could be next in the sights. And now we know that there is actual booming going on in Kharkiv and in Kiev. With a huge 200,000 strong force ringing Ukraine, the world is on knife's edge waiting for Putin's next move, which could be the bloodiest conflict in Europe since WW2. And then Putin deploying thermobaric rocket launchers. If you don't know what thermobaric is, it's a scary technology. Uh, launchers that can explode lungs. It says Putin is deploying some of the world's most devastating weapons in his planned full-scale assault on Ukraine, experts have claimed. Russia's terrifying arsenal of thermobaric weapons launches a barrage of fuel air explosive warheads so powerful they can melt an opposing army. Melt. Death from above. Putin is feared to have deployed thermobaric rocket launchers in Ukraine or to Ukraine. These are scary, 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 scary weapons. Um, I knew somebody that talked about these. I, I thought this was a newer technology until I talked to somebody that said that uh, the old school thermobarics were a lot different. So, Dex, what are these new ones like? Are they any different from the old school thermobaric? Thermobarics have been around for a long time, right? Well, I, I don't know how long they've been around, um, but I do know that the way they work is they use, you know, the the oxygen in around you or around the area to create an intense pressure and an intense, you know, explosion. And it's very hot, too. I hope they uh, don't need to ever use these. It says... Uh... Sharing screen grabs from a TikTok video of the military convoy, PhD student at the Department of War Studies at King's College London, Rob, Rob Lee, uh, wrote, Thermobaric troops on the move. Convoys were spotted, spotted uh, traveling through the Russian city of Bel, uh, Belgorod, around 40 kilometers north of the border of Ukraine. Originally created as a long-range alternative to the handheld flamethrower, the TOS-1 and the TOS-1A are designed to kill or crush any soft target in their path. These are for melting humans. These are the alternative to handheld flamethrowers. If you remember, if you've seen any war movies about WW-1 uh, or 2, they're scary as hell. Uh, World War One, they were it was really scary because the people that were using them, half the time they would blow up. So this is the answer to that. These will melt a human being. Uh, Yancey Cobb, thank you. 
Dog Whisper. I hope that I considering it's you, I don't think that's an accident. So thank you so much for your massive support of the channel. Dog Whisper uh, really uh, says appreciate everything y'all do. Love my family. Hey, Dog Whisper, thank you so much. That is not necessary. It is appreciated. Uh, Proctor Kidwell, thank you, you guys. Thank you. Uh, Greg Davis, I heard China plans to nuke the Cascadia subduction zone after Russia hits us with an EMP. It would absolutely destroy our infrastructure. Prep hard. Greg Davis, uh, you know, if you've watched How It Ends on Netflix, I know that's a movie. But I, I felt like there was some weird... I looked into some of the directors and people that were behind that. Um, that was tied to China. I don't know if you guys knew that. Dex, did you know that? There was a lot of ties to China in that movie, that How It Ends. You never saw it, did you? No, I, I don't have Netflix, so I have to find an alternate way. But I'll Yeah, put it that's on my right. List. You canceled it with cuties. I ended up having sure to get it back. Well, if I had little kids, I could I'd probably have to get it back too. I want I will, I only made it about two and a half months. Um, I cannot believe that they cancel. They would not cancel Cuties, but then all of that stuff over Chappelle popped up. Luckily, though, they didn't cancel him. So I guess it goes uh, both ways. Proctor Kidwell, Ed Brown, thank you so much. Uh, Dub Baby, Rye Luma, thank you so much. Thank uh, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Fugle fam. Now you get to experience with all of us uh, everything that's going nuts. Ukraine says plant in Crimea is evacuated. Maybe the pre pretext for aggression. Ukraine's foreign minister Dmitry Kaleba tweeted on Wednesday that after a night shift of the Titan Chemicals plant in annexed Crimea had been evacuated from the facility. He said that it was a possible preparation for another staged provocation by Russia, which annexed Crimea in 2014. It says, quote, Moscow seems to have no limits in attempts to falsify pretext for a further aggression. So, don't know if that even makes sense now, because now what what's going on? I don't, Dex, would this make sense, considering what we know now? Or would this be, uh, would this be something... Yeah, I thought it was odd because it was in Crimea, but I guess I guess maybe they're thinking something from the Ukraine side could could have an effect on it. But um, uh, and, and another quick update: I'm hearing that one of the other locations is called Odessa. It's near the uh, the the coastline, um, and it's where the Ukrainian uh, Navy is and their naval yards. And apparently, that's been being hit, uh, unconfirmed, but that's the the word from locals. This is not uh, not not going to be a, a fun scenario here. I'm gonna just gonna pull up uh, gonna pull up something here for you guys. Let's see. All right, so we have a line of line of tweets here. Uh, blast heard in Ukrainian capital of Kiev. Uh, so, yeah, we have. We are going to see uh, the, the reactions to this very soon. Um, this is actually a, probably a pretty good time. So if for any reason you guys lose contact with us, if any, I just the hypothetical one percent chance we lose any Internet. Uh, remember, if you do, if you were uh, here long enough for the Discord groups, make sure to reach out to people uh, and from your state group and just say hi. Also, uh, make sure to sign up for our email list over at Uh, it, If if it really goes to crap, then none of this would matter. But um, if it's you know regional or if something happens and things get uh, fragmented, uh, this would give us a way to get a hold of you. All you need is an email address, and if you want to put in whatever name you want to in there, uh, that's all that's required is email. Uh, so again, then we can get a hold of you. Uh, most of most creators have this by now because, again, we don't know if we'll be here uh, tomorrow or if uh, we'll get knocked off for something stupid or a title or even a thumbnail. So make sure to sign up for this. Uh, this would also be... If we get word from any of our group, and we know it's 100% act, uh, accurate, uh, basically a heads up from any of our people, 
we would let you know through this system. We've uh, rarely used it. Uh, if we do use it, we use it for important things or helping you. Again, thank you everybody for uh, signing up. That way, if we do get knocked off for any reason, we have access to contact you. Because once you get knocked off, it's really hard to find people. Um, okay. Yeah, it's easier for you guys to find us. It's not not easy the other way around. So it's not like we'll get it back ever. I, I have a feeling that we're about to see another purge. Uh, disturbing mass text operation terrorizes Ukraine. Before we talk about that, I do want to recommend. Uh, honestly, there would be no better time. Go over and check out and get a, a solar generator. If you have a gas-powered generator, the I would highly recommend looking at solar generator because they are silent. Your gas-powered generator is going to be super loud, and everyone within a freaking two-block radius is going to know you have one. If you've never seen an energy, that is what is running our entire show. So even if we lost all power, uh, I wouldn't actually know the difference until afterwards because we're running uh, both power bars, everything here, off of one Flex 1500 uh, base unit. So it's got the base unit and then, of course, the battery. Uh, this is modular. So if you've ever heard uh, of battery walls, you can actually keep adding batteries. They have a plug-in on the top and the bottom. So you can actually stack it on top and on top and on top. So you can customize this for the amount of power you need or at least the, the length of time you need. Uh, they also connect. Everything works together in their, uh, their ecosphere. And then also, you do not have to go with their proprietary solar panels. Uh, you can charge this with your wall plug-in to have an extra, you know, day of power or two days of power, depending on how many batteries you have, three days, a week of power, whatever, however many batteries you want to get uh, for what power you need. You can uh, actually charge it with uh, either their regular charger or their quick charger, uh, but also you can charge it with solar and you can use your own solar panels if you have uh, the right cords. And then again, or you can get them from Amazon. They don't make you buy their proprietary uh, solar panels. Uh, I personally uh, went with just the ones that they have because I wanted to make sure that I got the best, most recommended. But again, make sure uh, to go over and check these out. Marfuglenews.com slash energy. Make sure to use the code Marfugal. Uh, there is uh, there's a time period before you can get this, so make sure to get in there as soon as you can. Marfuglenews.com slash I-N-E-R-G-Y. Again, less maintenance. They are quiet. They are silent. One is running right next to me. Uh, and again, uh, no gas. As long as you have sun, you have power. People say, well, as long as you have gas, you have power. Well, gas is about to get a much harder to attain. So, uh, and then there's all sorts of devices they make that plug into it, like lights, chain lights. Uh, they make stoves. They make all sorts of different appliances that you can plug right in that are low, low, uh, low power really amazing again and it's portable so you can carry it with you and take it take it wherever you're bugging out to uh dex let's talk about the disturbing mass text this is kind of terrifying if you think about it if you were a soldier and they somehow got your number and then actually texted you and said put down your weapons or you're gonna you're gonna go and think about it a lot of these are 18 year old kids and people that their whole families were evacuated and, and they were kept there. Well, yeah, this is, um, it's part of the, the whole cyber threat that keeps going on or the cyber attacks, I should say, that keep go keeps going on. They, they recently knocked off, um, more of the Ukraine sites today. Um, they keep going after obviously the ministry, uh, the military and other, you know, all the government sites, uh, but then sending out, you know, um, sending out texts to people, uh, with statements in it, like that they're, they're doing is kind of, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty, pretty scary. If you're getting that, I would think. Yeah. And, uh, what they're saying is basically put down your weapons or, and, uh, get out of there or you're going to be, you're going to perish. And, uh, they also hacked into, it says the sites of Ukraine's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, its Security Service, or SBU, and Cabinet of Ministers were all down on Wednesday. Banks are also affected. Ukraine's Min Minister of Digital Information, Mikhail Fedorov, said that uh, on his Telegram channel, Ukrainian soldiers have also recently reported receiving alarming text messages urging them to leave 
or to die. That's pretty uh, pretty freaky there. Lisa Moritz, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Fugal Fam. It's kind of a bad bad time to step in. Uh, unfortunately, this well, everything everything that we have this has been leading up to is kind of happening right now. Uh, so this is going this is going to we're, we don't know exactly how this is going to play out. Uh, my prediction, though, is I feel like they have set us up for uh, a massive cyber attack response for whatever sanctions we're about to put on them. This 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 uh, definitely feels real. If it's not, and all of uh, the all of the skeptics are right, I'm praying you are right and I'm wrong. <clears throat> I am really praying that uh, you are wrong. You are right and I am wrong. I never claim to know everything or have a crystal ball, uh, but from what we've seen and what we've studied every day, it looks like this has been what they've been setting up for a long time. This makes everybody forget about the last two years. It makes everybody forget about the trillions of dollars that just got, you know, dispersed through many, many pockets. Uh, also, this is uh, possibly because something else bigger is coming. Also, one thing I thought of, and Dex somewhat agreed, there was a huge massive dump of stocks. And all of these elites uh, basically dumped all of their stocks a record amount in 2020 and 2021. Just absolutely liquidated all of their stocks, got rid of them, and got their cash. What if these these elites were somehow tied in this circle and were worried about sanctions and knew this was coming and they were putting it out and putting it somewhere safer? What they said is that these sanctions wouldn't matter. This is what a lot of experts are saying is the experts that say the sanctions won't matter to, uh, of course, Putin and his rich friends because billionaires are able to hide their money very well. They're able to put it offshore. They're able to put it over here. They're able to hide it. Or they're able to put it in, into this or that. So those those wouldn't matter. If you can hide your money, then who cares about sanctions? And it seems odd to me that just months ago, a couple months ago, three months ago, we had massive elites just dumping and liquidating a fire sale of stocks. Just whoosh. Everybody got out. And then... I also think about uh, how Jack Dorsey stepped down and all these all these big CEOs just left and retired. Retired early, like they were expecting something. Rev Hild, Def and, uh, Def and Marks, Marf and Dex, please know that we appreciate you all very much. By the way, today we just received two more EMP shields. Those are for our vehicles. The code Marf saved us 100 bucks. As always, thanks for the great tips. Hey, thank you, Red Pill. I appreciate that. And thank you for going through us. I'm, we really do appreciate you. Thank you so much. Howdy from Texas, says Paul. Hey, what's going on, Texas? Uh, Simply Pony. Hello, Mother Fuglers. Be safe and be prepared. That's right. Luis Martinez, do we all have ham frequency that Marf fams want to use? That's actually a good idea. Um... Gosh, that would... Dex, have you thought about that? What if we just put a, 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 a frequency that everybody could tune into and we just put it on the website so everybody could talk to each other or something? Or would that be would that overload it? Well, we could we could come up with something. Um, we could talk to some of the hams out there and see what, what they would recommend the best way. Um, but, it, you know, there's different... Uh, you know, different types of communication you're doing with ham and different uh, styles of frequencies that you use based on the distance you're trying to reach. So it's not always the same. Well, I I don't think it's a bad idea necessarily if we can figure out a way to do it. Uh, Al Ali Baker uh, says unconfirmed reports they are sending U.S. government officials to bunkers. I, yeah, I would not, I would only wait until you get confirmed uh, reports of that. Marf and Dex, please know that we appreciate y'all very much. By the way, today we just received two more EMP shields. Thanks, Rip Hill. Yancey Cobb, again, thank you. Everybody, uh, I missed you. Redeemed, redeemed. I apologize that I uh, 
waited so long to shout you out. Check Mar Marco Rubio tweets, says Sonny Turner. <clears throat> Craig Alicious went shopping for chicken and some honey, walked out with a cart full. Listening to the news while you shop is a bad idea until it isn't. Yeah, hopefully you didn't buy chicken from uh, Delaware. CJ Texas, thanks for the super sticker. Christy Magdalise. CJ, hey, thank you, CJ, again. Everybody in Texas, really. <clears throat> you guys have your own grid. You're actually a lo lot better off than most. We all wanted it to be a nothing burger. Got that. Stonemaster Kevin. I need everyone's prayer. Took my dog to the vet for a checkout. They did something to her. Now she's in the ICU fighting for her life. Please pray. She's only two years old. Stonemaster Kevin, I will pray. And now we have five animals and that really... Uh, their family so i totally understand uh mountain bluebird u.s will ff buildings with corruption evidence think building seven travis Schaefer, glad to have you guys serving up the truth this show keeps the wind in my sails and i feel less like an outsider god bless adam dex and families too uh make sure to n never forget the mods mods are doing a, a volunteer job that uh, most people wouldn't do for a paid gig like it's it, you have to deal with people that are just mad at you all the time no matter what you do so thank you mods i appreciate you uh <clears throat> thank you uh, everybody and, and adam i just pulled up marco rubio's uh tweets he is a u.s senator uh, for those of you who don't know him he's out of florida i'm sure most people have heard of him um, he's he's doing some reports on what's going on. A few things that we haven't heard. Uh, Russia's airborne forces are attempting to take control of the airport um, in Kiev so they can fly forces in to occupy the capital city. Um, he also says uh, amphibious assault ships on the key port of Maripol are underway. Um, and ground forces are moving in from Belarus and Crimea. And I, I don't know what uh, committees he sits on, but I'm pretty sure he has something to do with some of the, the high uh, intelligence, you know, some of the uh, defense positions and things. So he's probably in the know, and especially being a senator. I'm sure he knows what's going on. Um, Russian aircraft are now en route to conduct additional targeted uh, strikes on a number of key defense sites throughout all of Ukraine. That was 20 minutes ago. Um, and then long range missile launches are now underway. And they're headed towards various pre-selected uh, sites throughout the Ukraine. And that was 18 minutes ago. Excuse my, uh, I'm sorry if anybody heard that. I apologize. Um, I, you know, mo more of this, uh, more or less, a lot of this matters less. I bet none of these are even going to make sense by tomorrow. Uh, but I, I will say this, this actually, this does matter a lot. Russian Navy cruisers positioned to counter the U.S., French, and Italian carrier groups that are in the Mediterranean. We had this huge force, and now Russia is sending uh, their cruisers and their, their stuff to counter. If we had an interaction between those, that is a scary thought. Um, those carrier groups are massive. Um, we're talking about multiple U.S. carriers, uh, And they're sending Russian guided missile cruisers that have been arrayed. And remember, China has been drilling, uh, destroying specifically U.S. Uh, carriers in the desert. I don't, a lot of people that are new here probably don't know, but we followed every little step of this. And we were talking about this way before mainstream. We said, hey, it looks like they're setting up for this. What is happening right now? We talked about for years. And it, basically this specific scenario, anybody... Uh, please let the new people that have just found us in the last few weeks. I saw a couple of people that just said they found us. Will you let them know we've, it wasn't, we didn't just go and talk about what mainstream was talking about. Mainstream is talking about what we have been seeing coming for now years. And this is just, this is utter insanity right now. This is, I knew, I knew something was coming. I knew it. But do you want to be right on this? I don't want to be right on this. None of us do. None of you. All of you knew this. You knew it was coming. Almost all of you knew this was coming. But we don't want it to be ready. We don't want it to be right. And then uh, on a side note, 1,000 of the drivers here, not up north in Canada, but down here, 
uh, begin their drive from California to D.C. today in as of CV National Emergency. Now, I don't... This is... D- I don't think they needed a full scale invasion and this whole conflict to take away from this. I think this is going on at the same time. This something, there's a lot of fishy stuff out there and I know you guys are going to watch some stuff out there. Again, I think you guys are going to see some of the fishy stuff that is going on uh, with this one, right? Up North, there was some fishy stuff going on. This one, I believe there's going to be fishy, fishy stuff, kind of like in January. So just be careful, folks. Everybody, make sure to go over to our website. We have uh, lots of coverage of this, everything that has happened, everything that's been cut off. Uh, and uh, again, insanity right now. If you want to prep, we have a recommendation. If you need food, long-term survival food, you want to get it as soon as possible, uh, then make sure to go over Essentials of Life. This is through My Patriot Supply. They have uh, everything in stock as far as, uh, you know, all of the good stuff. Make sure to go to marfuglenews.com slash prep. If you have not, uh, if you've not gotten uh, your supplies up, don't really need to tell you why at this point. Uh, Make sure to go over here. They have all sorts of awesome food. They have gadgets. Uh, They have long-term survival food. Meals averaging 2,000 calories per day. Simple, quick. Again, these are amazing. You most of them just add water and you actually get a real meal. So again, go over here. It's uh, again, marfuglenews.com slash prep. Anytime you make a purchase of a one month supply, you get $50 off through our code. And anytime you purchase a three month supply, that's three months of food supply for one person. Uh, that is $150 off. Uh, those discounts, I don't know if they will last into March. I don't know if anything will last into March. So I would highly recommend going over and checking it out. Uh, if you cannot afford the the food from marfuglenews.com slash prep, uh, we want to give you resources. Uh, I'm working with uh, I'm working with a couple people right now to figure out how we can uh, get anybody that can afford that and try to figure out a way to uh, let them know you know what is their next step. My, I have personally when I even when I was a uh, absolute just um, had nothing. I went to the food bank and I got canned foods and I got uh, water from the food bank. Um, I would go every Tuesday, every Thursday, you know, local places. They all have their different days. Uh, so again, you can get some good canned foods, canned goods. Uh, but, it, you know, you, if you do it yourself, it just takes effort. This is for the people that just want to get it done and have it there and uh, know that it's going to, to last. You can do it yourself and like try to package and stuff. Uh, But in fact, uh, like Canadian Prepper said, you know, he's got these machines. uh, But a lot of people criticized one of his videos because the machine is like $10,000 or something to to freeze dry or do whatever it does. So he ended up uh, fixing that by making some more videos that, you know, told people how to do it cheaper. But then the problem with that is the way that he did it the second time. There's possibilities for like, uh, you know, the food getting salmonella or something. So then he did a third video showing people how to do it. So it is a pain in the butt, but you can do it. So it, it's you just got to have the right resources. Check out all the prepper channels that we suggest. Survival Living Alaska Prepper. Again, go over to marfuglenews.com slash prep. Check out their menu. Uh, the Again, with inflation, with money that is just going skyrocketing, it's better to do it yesterday than tomorrow. All right, again, uh, Dex, do you want to talk about the uh, some of the stuff going on over here and uh, our EMP contest? Absolutely. So, hey, guys, head over to marfuglenews.com and click on the thumbnail for today's show. Or if you're on YouTube, just open the description and hit show notes. Uh, two things there. Scroll down to web-only content and get the rest of the story. So everything else we can't really cover. It's either too hot for TV, too political, too far to one side. Uh, lots going on there. Um, you can definitely go check it out. It seems to be a continuation of some of the conversations that have been happening this week, um, especially with investigations and and even potential people flipping from one party to another. Just lots happening. Uh, so go take a look. Check it out. Uh, plenty to read there. Plenty to, to get caught up on. But even more importantly, scroll all the way down to the bottom on that page is where you can enter. Uh, you'll see the rest of the tweets, too, that we've been posting today. But that's where you can enter the contest to win 
uh, and EMP Shield. So they are doing that uh, with us, another channel, uh, two other channels. And uh, it's really great because they did this. It was a long time ago. We did the last contest. They told us they didn't think they were going to do any for a while. And uh, Andrew was so gracious to come out and say, hey, let's do one more uh, for the fam. Let's try to get it out there for those that can't uh, can't necessarily afford them or, or want to win one. This is the way to go. So if you're looking for an EMP shield and you're looking for another avenue, this could be your, your ticket. So go to the website. There's many ways to enter. Uh, it's a it's a contest where if you you know follow you know our channel and and click and do all these things you get multiple entries and then you can come back daily and enter every day so if you really want to up your chances that's that's the ticket I think that's the right way to do it so go take a look it'll be on our show today at the bottom scroll down <clears throat> to uh, past web only content and you'll find the contest there <clears throat> and again if you're on YouTube open the description it's the first link show notes. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. Uh, there will be much more coming out, and we will have uh, live updates on news. Uh, or we'll be popping in if there's something prudent. We'll be doing uh, cell phone updates. If you have not subscribed over to Marfugel News, our main channel, uh, that is now up to almost 215,000 uh, people. So make sure to get over there. Get over there right now because if uh, we do a 3 o'clock in the morning uh, video, you got to have that notifications bell turned on. Make sure to turn on your, all notifications for this channel uh, because if I do a community post that, uh, that lets you know about those news videos over here, that way you get double notifications. And even if they give it to you three days late on one channel, you may get the other one on time. So make sure to sign up for those notifications. That's why. That was their way around it, right? Because by default, they uh, set it to, you know, some or whatever recommended. Always click that bell right now. Go down to it and click that bell, especially if you're a replay watcher that watches every day. Make sure to do that. Uh, then you don't have to type in our name. It will just be there. Uh, share with a friend and family uh, member right now if you can. Share this video. This is a great one to share because obviously... We just watched live as it kicked off and those friends and family that didn't believe you this was happening, you can send them this. All right, uh, Dex, thank you for your service today. Much love, brother. Great show. It is now time for the shout -tro. It's not an outro. It's not a shout-out. It's a sh shout -tro.
Pounding. Hey, Chance Pounding. Hey, my wife's in the chat. Hey, are you watching this, babe? I hope uh, I hope you tuned in because you saw what's going on. Sorry. Linking on the hollow. Hey. Linking on the hollow. Bringing on the hollow. Here now. Uh, uh, I'm missing on the mouth and it ain't no type of just change it. Then I go tap it now. Hey, uh, go bring it down. Hey, you guys want to see our new kitten? Press one in the chat if you want to see our newest kitten was born last night as I came up from the show. If you still-